each place has their golf course. They've got their beach. They've got their lake. But each lake doesn't have their monster. Lake Mepre may God has it. There have been sightings, quite a few. People have been talking about the different sightings. And there's also, of course, the Historic Society of Magog that can give you much more information about the monster. While going to all newspaper, uh, one time I saw a clipping of, uh, I think it's 1855, in which uh, they were relating that the founder of Bibi Village, which is on the, on the lake shore of Lake Memphremega, uh, so had seen a, uh, a sea monster, a sea serpent, in the, uh, at the Magoon Point. I took a photocopy of this and I put it in a file called My Monster File. And I have a book in French called Géographie des Frères des Écoles Chrétiennes, in it, there is the, uh, they talk about the um, uh, dangerous animal in Quebec. Uh, this text said, we don't have no uh, uh, dangerous animal. And then they would say at the end of this uh, paragraph, except there is a monster that, that shows itself freely on Lake Memphremega. And uh, one time I wrote an, an article called, Is it a myth, a legend, or a reality? And then I got the, um, uh, some people started to answer to that article. And some people came to see me and they said, uh, they said uh, we saw it, or, you know, and this is how it's all started. Oui, il y a deux ans, on a décidé d'organiser une exposition parce qu'on est dans la place de Memphrey, puis Memphrey n'avait pas de maison pour l'été, puis il y a beaucoup de touristes qui veulent venir voir. On a décidé d'organiser une exposition qui se nommait La légende de Memphrey. Ça regroupait avec M. Boisvert, évidemment, qui est le père de la légende de M. Boisvert, qui est le père de Memphrey, des artefacts provenant du lac, et les artistes, eux, s'inspiraient de la légende pour faire des œuvres, étant donné qu'il n'y a pas de photos comme telle de Memphrey. Fait que les artistes, dans leur imaginaire, faisaient des sculptures, des peintures, représentant Memphrey comme eux le percevaient. Uh, one day, about a couple of years ago, I received a phone call by a gentleman, his name is Jean Grenier. So he said, I just saw Memphrey. I said, are you kidding? Come on. So I go there and they, he's an artist. He's a uh, part-time artist. And, when I arrived there, he had done this uh, sketch of uh, Memphrey and uh, what he was, exp what he had seen, and so forth. On a eu un succès. Les visiteurs ont aimé ça. Les visiteurs viennent voter pour les Memphrey. Il y a de la documentation aussi. Monsieur Boisvert donne des témoignages. Et euh, la deuxième année, on a décidé de le refaire encore. Fait qu'à tous les étés, on organise une exposition. C'est toujours des Memphrey différents à chaque année. I think that the uh, most of the people will, uh, I would say that they believe a lot about that, yes. I think that the people are, are behind the Memphrey affair. Même que quand on sort, on va à Montréal, à Toronto, la première question que les gens nous posent, c'est, est-ce que Memphrey existe? <laughs> Like, tout le monde croit à Memphrey ici. Well, sometimes it, uh, uh, the story about Memphrey, if you go around, uh, around Magog and talk about that, you know, some will tell you that, you know, it's not true, you know. 
At one time, one of the uh, biggest hotel owner in, this, uh, in the region here did not like us to talk about Memphrey because uh, I don't know why. And uh, I was sitting with him and he was telling me that the, uh, it was bad and, you know, I, we should not talk about that. And so a couple came in. They were very good friends, I mean, uh, the hotel owner and this couple. And I said, if you don't believe me, ask them, you know. And uh, he said, uh, you don't believe in the monster? The guy said, sure. I mean, I saw it. I was in Georgeville. I was with my wife, blah, blah, blah. And they almost started quarreling. So I just uh, stood up and got out of the restaurant. And <laughs> that's it. When M. Boisvert parle de Memphrey, il y a toujours, comme je disais tantôt, les yeux qui pétillent, mais il y a toujours un petit sourire aussi. <laughs> When you speak to a, to a certain class of young, uh, and uh, when you start to talk about Memphrey, uh, the explaining some sightings, you know, I say, well, I've met Mr. So-and-so, and he told me that the, uh, what he saw, you know, and I, I start to explain what he what the guy told me and so forth, and you could see the big, big eyes of the children, you know. It's an archivist. It's not just, there's the part of humoristic also, because he's amused with Memphrey. So have you ever seen the monster yourself? No, I've, ne I've never seen the monster. And it's, before you ask the question, if I believe in the monster, I don't have to believe. This is not my job. My job is to archive that. Monsieur Boisvert, pour la population, devrait être vraiment là, âgé comme un père. Je, là, je dis que c'est le père de la légende et le père de Memphrey. Mais les gens le perçoivent comme ça aussi, mais il devrait encore lui faire plus confiance là, pour qu'il puisse éduquer la population aussi. If you've been lucky in life, and, and I've been quite lucky in life, I'm grateful to God for uh, my life. Uh, I think that we have to put back in life. Uh, and the more you put back, the more that you receive. Not very long ago, I was reading in a, a magazine that the, as an expedition that went to the sea and they found thousands of new species of uh, things in the, in the sea. So, I mean, uh, supposing in 10 years the, uh, they have the proof that it, it did exist, well, they will be uh, glad that I kept some record out of, for it. If you're a real dragon or just another fish If I had a wish, Memphrey, I'd wish I could see you with my own two eyes Memphrey, I've heard that you're really cute A sweet and friendly kind, so I know you won't mind Memphrey, I wish I could see you with my own two eyes